Could you talk about how uh, uh, you navigated that fifth inning uh, bullpen wise and uh, what do you thought of uh, Sevy's performance up to then? Yeah, um, I thought Sevy just he made so many big pitches. Um, you know, it wasn't perfect there, and he, you know, he, he he obviously got into some big trouble there in the second inning. But just so proud of how he he navigated. You know, bases loaded, no outs, and you know he just locked it in and made pitches. And you know, I think that really <clears throat> kind of embodied the whole night as far as how our guys played. I, I thought they just played such a clean game. They made so many big plays and big spots because I really thought the Twins brought it tonight. They made it difficult. They had traffic, it seemed like, all night. And um, our guys just kept making big pitches when they needed to and, and big, big defensive plays. And, uh, you know, Seve to, to work as hard as he did the first few innings, obviously to make some huge pitches. And then in the fourth, I thought, kind of settled in. and looked like he started to get into a rhythm there. But, you know, once he was up over 80, I wasn't going to push him uh, beyond that and felt like we were set up. And... Uh, to, to roll the guys out how we wanted to. It wasn't perfect, um, but again, the guys just kept making pitches. On TR in the third row. Um, moving forward with uh, Severino, do you think he's going to get to the point where he can start going 100 plus in five or six innings, or, or is that important? I mean, yeah, I think he could, and I think he's probably kind of there now. Um, so it'll just be, you know, each time out will be a little bit different. Um, but I certainly think he's capable of, of kind of getting to that point. Um, but, you know, some nights we may not need that when we're, when we're set up how we are. We'll just kind of watch him and see how hard it is for him to navigate through some innings. But I feel like he's close to being there anyway. Uh, first row on your left. Aaron, uh, Britton looked like he uh, had some discovery there when he came out in the seventh, but he went back out for the eighth. And then, uh, obviously, Araldus with the five-out save. Can you talk about their performances tonight? Yeah. Um, you know, Britt Brit made a great defensive play, too, getting over there to, to get a, a big out there on the cover in the bag and kind of, I think, jammed his ankle a little bit. So, um, you know, he came in and, and kind of got stretched out under and felt good enough to go back out. Um, we're obviously going to, at that point, you know, try and split it up as best we could between him and Chappie. And, um, you know, he was just, he was a little tender, a little kind of gingerly and, and really finishing his pitches. Um, so we just felt like we needed to get him out of there. Chappie was up and, and ready to go. And, um, you know, it was probably a hitter earlier than, than we wanted. But, um, you know, obviously Chappie f was able to finish it off. Other questions for Aaron? Nothing else? Uh, Anthony? Who do you want to play? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? We'll, en we'll enjoy watching the series unfold, and, and we'll get ready for whoever it is. Uh, TR? Torres is um, home run in the second inning. How much did that give you guys a lift here on the road? Get, well, the league? yeah, I mean, certainly got us started. Um, Gosh, he played so well in, in this series. And then today, I think just I continued to show the world just how good a player he is on both sides of the ball. I mean, big defensive plays, extra base hits, stole a base that helped lead to a nice insurance run. Um, but that definitely, I think, at least offensively, uh, you know, gave us a little jolt there early and, you know, maybe settled the crowd a little bit you know, as they were, I think, ready to explode. Um, so, you know, what more can you say about Glaber? He's just, he's, he's been great.